Hello, this is Jeff with the Click Team, and we're going to be building Space Invaders in less than five minutes. So let's get going. And I'm just starting a new application in Multimedia Fusion 2 and opening up frame number one. And I'm going to make the background of frame number one black so it's nice and spacey. And let's add some library graphics to build our game out of. Give me some room over here on the edge. Okay, I'm going to double click on our active. We're going to use this as a barricade. Now I want to make it a little bit different color so we can see nicely. And let's make it a gray color. That dark purple doesn't work very good on a black background. And duplicate four rows of five. Copy these. Paste. And make another barricade paste. Okay, so we've got three barricades here. Kind of line them up a little bit. Looks decent. Okay, let's duplicate our invader. How about three rows of ten? That looks pretty good. Okay, these are all duplicates. So I just have one object, and we'll set its movement to be invader. That's pretty simple. I'm going to select our player. I'm going to select its movement to be eight direction and just left and right. Let's run our game. I can move our player via the arrow keys and our invaders are moving across and down the screen. And let's do this shooting. So here's our bullet and when I press the space key I want to shoot our bullet. So I'm going to do a new condition and test for the space key and launch an object and that'll be the shot and it'll launch oops it is going to launch straight up okay now we need to test for when the shot hits the invader shot collides with the invader and this will be destroy the shot and let's create an explosion relative to the invader and yeah, then let's destroy the invader. Okay, let's test for the shot collides with the barricade. And we are going to destroy the shot and destroy the barricade. All right, let's run our game, see how we look. Okay, this is looking pretty good. A couple things I don't like is the invaders aren't shooting back. And I can shoot as many shots as I want just by pressing the space key. So let's limit this. Compared to number of shot objects, lower than three. Now the reason you only see two on the screen is because we have one off screen over here. So I can just do a start a frame and destroy it. See what happens now. Now you can see three of them on our play field. Okay, let's make our invader shoot. And I'm going to clone this object. And I'm going to open up the editor. And I'm going to make this a red bullet so it matches our invaders. And they're going to do, say, every, oops, every 50th of a second and then we'll pick one of these at random they are going to launch an object and that's going to be shot number two and they're going to launch it downwards okay so now let's test for this shot to collide with the player and let's create an object the explosion relative to the player and let's destroy the shot and then let's just destroy the player and now let's test for the shot collides with the barricade and let's destroy the shot and destroy the barricade and I think we're ready to play here okay they're shooting at us and their shots are destroying the barricade my shots are destroying them and so if they shoot me I'm destroyed 
So there's a very simple Space Invaders game in just a couple minutes. Thanks.